Hi there, let's talk about the outlook for our markets. Now it's still too early um, to say that we won't see further falls in share values with worries remaining around global growth, uh, the US Federal Reserve, the US budget, China, etc. Uh, but beyond these short-term uncertainties, we see the cyclical bull market in shares, including our Aussie share market, as likely to resume. Shares are cheap relative to bonds. Monetary conditions are set to remain easy, which in turn should help see the global economy recovery continue. And finally, investor sentiment is around the levels of pessimism that always provide fantastic buying opportunities. Low bond yields uh, point to softer returns from bonds, although the recent share market downswing which saw bonds rally provides us with a good reminder that government bonds do remain a great contributor to that uh, portfolio diversification that we should all be targeting. The recent bounce in the Australian dollar has proved to be short-lived, only reaching 72 US cents. Um, and in the short term, the Australian dollar will take its lead largely from ongoing swings in global investors' risk tolerance. But the broad trend in the Aussie dollar is likely to remain down because the US Fed is likely to raise interest rates probably in the next six months, whereas the RBA is likely to cut rates again and the trend in commodity prices remains down. This should see our Aussie dollar fall to around 60 cents US in the next year or so, um, with the risk that it could even go a little bit lower. Tracy Ferguson, thanks for listening.